When I originally designed this torch base mount, I made my measurement off the bottom of the tank, which was about 72 millimeters in diameter, 72, 72 and a half. And I made this circle here, 73 and a half millimeters, so that I have a little bit of clearance. But the tank gets a little bit wider as soon as it gets above the bottom 10 millimeters or so, it's because there's a little pressed on cap. So what I did is instead of rebuilding this whole thing, you can just go ahead and use the scale command, which is under modify, scale, highlight this thing. And normally scale goes by a factor percentages. If you want to scale it up a factor of two to make it twice as big. I don't know what I need to scale it to make it go from 73.5 to say 75.5. But thankfully Fusion 360 lets you do functions instead of just pure numbers. So if what I if I want my new circle to be 75.5, my old circle is 73.5, instead of doing the calculations to figure out what factor that is, I can just simply type 75.5 divided by 73.5. And then now that new inner circle will be exactly 75.5. If you're like me, you do most of your Fusion 360 in metric, but sometimes all you've got is a tape measure. And say you need to make something that's exactly, I don't know, three inches by three inches. Now, if you're good at doing the conversion in your head, you'll say 25.4 times three, that's 76.2, okay? But say you don't want to do it in your head or it's a more complicated number. You could bust out the calculator or you could just say, hey, uh, make this square three times 25.4, three times 25.4. And that'll give you a square that is exactly 76.2 by 76.2. Now say instead of being completely flat on the bottom, I wanted that to be a perfect dome bottom. Now I know that I just scaled that up to 75.5. So instead of playing around with you know, fillets until I got it right. You say, all right, well, the circle is 75.5 in diameter. That's gonna give you an area, but then you do divide it by two, and it will give you the exact perfect fillet radius without having to do any other calculations. Let Fusion 360 do the calculations for you. It'll save you time in the long run.